Hey everyone, um, I'm trying something new today. I'm uh, reviewing uh, American Hustle. This will be a short review because I actually love the movie. There's nothing uh, constructive to say about this except um, no, no, this movie is actually pretty good. Um, I love the way that the art direction, I love the flow and I love the, the style of it. Um, it was so stylish. I mean, it, it reminded me of a uh, of a uh, Martin Scorsese um, and his past works. Um, I'm actually intrigued to watch um, Wolf on Wall Street, which is a Martin Scorsese film. I actually like his works. Um, he uh, David O. Russell. I had not seen uh, Silver Linings Playbook or um, The Fighter, but I heard it was a really good movie um just the okay a lot of the actors were good um amy adams and jennifer lawrence specifically uh they she them both were just dynamic i think a little bit more dynamic than the men in the movie which I, to the credit of bradley cooper and christian bale they were they were both they were both uh equally good and over the top and all that good stuff jeremy renner did a good job as the corrupt politician, um, but it's just an amazing movie. I mean, it looked it, it was like a Martin Scorsese film, but it, it, David or Russell made it, so you know, to, it, and that's not a bad thing. Martin Scorsese is a brilliant director. I mean, he's directed you know the Rolling Stones film um, Shine a Light, which I really like a lot. Um, he directed the bad music video for Michael Jackson. I mean, what does that tell you? I mean, it's just all that style that, you know, and I could tell that there's a lot of influence with that. And, um, my God, there was a great cameo in the movie, but I'm not going to reveal that to you. Um, for those who have not seen the movie, um, everything about the film was just spectacular. I mean, it's, going back to Amy Adams and Jennifer Lawrence, they were both, they were both exceptional. They, they got they got their points down across. Um, they they want. They're both dynamic. I mean, it, and there was a scene where they were just together and they were uh, they were conversing, and I love that conversing with that they that they did, and it showed that they it showed that they're well with dialogue, and uh, you could tell a lot of uh, chemistry was involved there. Um, it was not just you know some shallow minded you know like saying oh just talk and just get your paycheck no they they legitimately looked like they were having a good time making the movie um what else did i like about the movie what else did i like about the movie it was okay christian bale i i he's a good actor okay but i have not seen an acting this good this good of his um in quite some time um by god why couldn't he act like this in the last dark knight film um that's an that's another criticism I have about the movie. Um, is that a is that gosh? If this was an act, is it? If this was an acting starting, you know, career movie, um, I think that this movie would definitely definitely set him off right. Um, the movie was uh, was two hours long, and you could definitely feel it. Um, but honestly, I didn't care or mind because I, I, I loved seeing, um, what was going on between the different characters and different, different structures of different points of the movie. And it's just well put together and well pasted. And, uh, the plot can be a little convoluted and a little complicated at times, but honestly, just seeing the, the actors, the actors really helped it out, you know, drag out what was, what was going on and what was not. And uh, just the just that fact that you know they were holding it themselves together through that movie, and without that chemistry, I think that that movie. I, I mean, it's not it's not a story movie. It's a it's more of an actor's movie, and I think that a lot of the credit comes from that. Um, without that, I think that the movie would have um, not have sufficed me well. I mean, it's a brilliant acting piece. It's a brilliant acting piece. I mean, I, I, I don't think there was any other actors that could have played these roles other than the actors that played them. 
Bradley Cooper was uh, deliciously over the top. I love I loved every bit. I mean, he was just slimy and all that stuff. Um, a lot of temperament. Uh, Louis C.K. Louis C.K. He was funny as heck in this movie. He uh, he he delivered. You know his delivery, his dark humor, and all that stuff. I mean, it was definitely a lot of dark humor in this movie. That it was a. Uh, just by being called American Hustle, you think you're getting into like some sort of mob drama into this, but yeah, you have some of that elements where you have like the Godfather influences. Again, going back to sort of Ceci and Francis Ford Coppola, but no, it really, it really captures you know that comedy, that that dark comedy that is involved with the mob. I mean, it's just the, the different turn, different take that it made on the mob. Uh, it was it, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. I mean, uh, the story was okay. The story was okay. I admit that it it was just an okay um, bit of storytelling. But other than the acting, if this one's best picture over Saving Mr. Banks, I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. If it, it if it just if it blows it out of the water, then that's fine. If you know, I. Amy Adams should be credited a little bit more than Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence was by far great in this movie. No, no doubt about it. She was great. She was over the top. She was just, just deliciously fun to watch. But Amy Adams, man, she was just cutthroat. She just, I don't know. I've seen Enchanted. I've seen other movies that she was in. Um, Man of Steel, you know, Julie and Julia, um, bits and pieces of it. I've seen bits and pieces of, uh, Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day. I mean, just little bits of movies that she was in, and I believe she was in a Catch Me If You Can as well. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, she was just fantastic in this movie. Fantastic. I mean, it, this movie, if you're to say, you know, any good Amy Adams films out there, I would definitely point to American Hustle. American Hustle, I mean, she she captured that, you know, that role perfectly. I mean, I think that she was the best actress in the in the in the bunch. Um, no doubt about it. I mean, yeah, you have, you know, Jennifer Lawrence, but I think that her popularity with the Hunger Games is slightly overshadowing the fact that she that she uh that Amy Adams has that talent and uh it's undeniable. She she just blew it out of the water. Amy Adams, good good job. I'm, I'm surprised she's not nominated. Nominate this girl. Um but this I honest to God, this movie was fantastic and I consider it one of my favorite films of all time. Yeah. And um I'm very picky with my movies. And just seeing this movie all come together is just fantastic. I would love to see, you know, I was this. Uh, I, 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 it's a definitely buy. I, I'll definitely buy. Go out to Best Buy or wherever and buy this film. Um, but it's just fantastic. American Hustle. You know, this movie is definitely good. Dig, definitely worth the ticket price. Definitely go see it. Um, I'll check you guys out later. Bye.